Now, uh, another big concern that uh, has been coming up a lot is that a lot of people, once they make it to the levels of the HWAs and OVWs, that they kind of they kind of tend to forget their roots and uh, turn their back on the people like you and some of the other guys that kind of brought them to the dance. You know, have you ever had any personal experience with that of you know running into these guys and they give you the cold shoulder? I was talking with somebody who they say in independent and schools and how they hate backyard wrestling. Honest to God, I hate backyard wrestling too because it's not wrestling. It's just let's just be stupid and tables, ladders, chairs, blood, cheese graters, you know, no rules. It's not wrestling. What Franklin did was he took a bunch of guys who loved wrestling. The, the thought of actual wrestling, you know, hey, you're going to throw on some tables every now and then. It excites the match, excites the fans. Believe it or not, that's what a lot of fans want to see. They want to see the weapons and all that. Very rarely are you going to have an actual match that doesn't have weapons that the fans are into. And, um... As far as going to the independent thing, I'm never going to forget where I came from. I'm never going to forget when I just used to mess around in the backyard to where Franklin took me in and did all that he did for me, where I really got a, a, a hold and a grasp of what I was doing. I'm never going to forget that because that's really where it all kind of started, where it all hit me that this is what I, this is what I can be. I'm not going to forget that. I'm not. I'm not going to bag what Franklin did because it's not. I don't. I never count Sarah as. Back around, I consider it as underground wrestling. Not really semi-pro, not pro, underground. Guys that, forget, let's be honest. Rest, the wrestling world now has gone to the point where size is more important than the actual wrestling skill. You can sit there and watch TV and like, okay, I'm better than this guy, I'm better than this guy. But because he's 6'4 and huge, they're going to try to make something of him. And Franklin's about who's got talent and trying to bring them into that. Size can come later. You're going to get that throughout the rest of your life. That, but I'm not going to say skill can't be taught, but there are some things just in people you cannot teach that they just automatically have. And I believe that. And I believe I was one of them. Okay. Um, from your own personal experience, what was, uh, in your opinion, the most memorable match to you that you were part of? Hands down, the most memorable match that I was in was beyond doubt. It was Brian Michaels versus Rampage. The Finally, Ryan Michaels versus Rampage. We've been at it for three months, just little egging on, little confrontations. Never a match. The match was finally set. It was beyond doubt. It was in August, August 20-something. I forget exactly what the date was. But that was Ryan Michaels challenging Rampage for his title. The whole reason I was brought into this. And we honestly ended up having match of the year ended up being feud of the year and in my own personal opinion it was one of the best maybe if not the best match I've ever had and Franklin's even told me that's the best match he's ever seen that nothing has come close to topping it our rematch hit the final countdown you know that was just that was just two guys just beating the hell out of each other but as far as an actual match goes some you enjoy it I didn't doesn't even come close that match it beyond doubt set the standards for everything and that, that is probably, that is my, without doubt, favorite match in UWE. One of my, if not my favorite, that I've ever done. And, you know, like I said, one match of the year. We won feud of the year. I believe that that match also helped me win wrestler of the year that year. And that match was just amazing. Everything that we were wanting to do, the whole build up and everything that go into that match, and it just went together perfect. Like that match was meant to happen. 